Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us. What do we use metrics for? We use them to understand our current and our past state so that we can predict the future, improve care, and add to the bottom line. So after looking at my uh, today's waiting room and some visits for today, I may be interested in looking at my past performance to see what we can do to improve. So I'll go to my dashboard and I am signed in as Laura Smith. That This is a test account um, that we just use for demos. You can see that in the uh, overall structure here, um, I, I have a, a lot to show you, but I'm going to use about five minutes to go through what we've got here in front of us. In the top left hand corner, you can see that there is a selection tool that will allow you to select different practices, physicians, and a time or date range. In this practice selection box, you can start by selecting whichever practice you are associated with um, as a provider, or you can select all of the different practices that you are associated with. Likewise, you have a list of clinicians or, or users from your practices who will display here, and it will automatically populate your information into the dashboard, but you can go through and select which clinician that you're associated with or all of the clinicians that you're associated with. Same goes for the date range. You can look through a range of dates, starting with the current week, the current month, or the previous two months. So you get about a quarter uh, worth of information here. Um, in order to display the information, we simply ask that you once you have the selection you're interested in, click the search button and you'll see the dynamic change of the information being shown. You can also, by selecting the data and clicking the download button, download all of this information with actually a little bit more uh, supplementary uh, data that I will go over after we get through with the dashboard view. Starting in the top left-hand corner, you'll notice that there is a uh, descriptive data table that will show you the number of visits that you've had, the average wait time that your patients experience, the average visit length, and a range of visit length times. You can also just hover your mouse over each of these to understand what they entail. If you scroll over to the right here, you can see the visit completion and visit type pie charts, which will give you a breakdown um, with the number, uh, the numerical value, and a percentage breakdown to show you how many of your visits are completed, how many were canceled before they began, and how many were invalid. This can be uh, marked by the clinician if there is a, an issue or uh, with the visit or if the visit does not need to be completed or charged or billed by the clinician um, for whatever reason. The same goes for the visit type. You can see the numerical value or the percentage value based on all of the different visits that you had in this selection. So again, this selection here, once you click search, will display all of these different graphs here. The There is a, we could go into more detail, but just suffice to say that there are different visit types um, in Anytime Pediatrics. Of course, we have the scheduled, you have the virtual walk-in, which is kind of on demand when a patient says, I need a visit right now, please let me come in and have a visit. And then we have the instant invite, which I kind of think of as the flip side where the doctor says, hey, I need you to come in right now. So we can kind of look and see within our, all of our doctors or within a specific doctor, what um, is happening. So that's the first, that's the top row, the quick breakdown. And then we have a sort of patient visibility here too. So after each visit, a patient is asked how the visit went. Um, they don't have to answer, but if they do, we give them a selection of great, good, or not good. And then they can also provide a text response uh, in a, a blank field, which is included in the data download. We'll get into that in just a moment. As you scroll down, you notice that there is a visit reason. Whenever a patient enters a visit, they're asked for a visit reason. They can select from 
a, num a range of fields. Um, at this point, there's around 25 or 30, but that list sometimes grows at your request. Uh, each of those visit reasons is nested into a larger uh, visit reason, such as medication, problem focused, wellness, Sometimes they don't, they elect not to list a, a visit reason or a problem follow up based on what the actual specific visit reason is. So let's take a moment to look at what the data download looks like. I like to just create it in a uh, table. So the, the information comes in a de-identified uh, download. So there's no patient PHI in here. Um, you can use um, a visit ID to match up that visit information um, in your platform, on our platform. And as you'll notice, this has all of the information that you saw in the uh, dashboard, but there's a little bit extra. You may be interested in seeing um, what the wait, longest wait time is. So you may sort it from uh, largest to smallest and say, uh-oh, Mark, Dr. Mark Johnson had uh, some issue here. And of course, this is test data, so this isn't necessarily real going to happen to you, but there may be something where somebody has a 30-minute um, wait and you may say, Dr. Johnson is having issues uh, getting on time. So we can address that uh, in, in uh, by speaking with him. You also may be interested in looking at some of the patient feedback. So you may want to understand, you know, some of these feedbacks here. Dr. Blackwell was very helpful. He listened to my child carefully before providing a quick diagnos diagnosis and treatment. So it's nice to see that the, the patient has an opportunity to give you some feedback about a visit. As I mentioned before, there's also these visit reasons that have different categories. We have the wellness, which could be a behavioral follow-up, a problem follow-up. Perhaps a, a child had an ear infection that was treated and they just want to have a quick uh, get together to make sure everything's going well. And of course, the problem-focused visits, they are going to have entail a lot of different illnesses or injury, um, anything like that. So that is, in a nutshell, is a quick look at our dashboard.